Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing my January favorites. Obviously I'm not a beauty guru, so this is not that kind of video, but I will be reviewing different clothes, foods, games, and those kind of things I've been obsessed with this month. So let's get started. For my first one, this is probably my most favorite and biggest thing that I've been obsessed with this month. Tea! I have Sweet Strawberry, Oh Canada, Chocolate Rocket, Birthday Cake, White Chocolate Frost, Red Velvet Cake, Sleigh Ride, Coffee Cake, and Cocoa Chai. Like literally in just December last month, I hated tea because I always thought tea was this like gross black tea with no flavor type of thing. But now that I've been introduced to David's tea, I am obsessed with it. I always drink like a cup or two a day now and it's really bad. But my favorite three this month are Birthday Cake, Sweet Strawberry, and Oh Canada. I know, how Canadian of me, but literally these taste all so good and Birthday Cake, oh, to die for. Now on to accessories, my first thing is a Case Logic backpack from B&H Photo. This backpack holds my 15 inch MacBook and also my DSLR camera, which is huge, my mic, all like five of my lenses and everything. And it's literally gonna save me so much trouble and hassle while I'm traveling. The first zipper here fits my laptop perfectly and it doesn't feel weird on my back and it doesn't feel really heavy on the shoulders either. Now in the second pocket, it's where I keep my DSLR camera, which I'm currently filming with and all of my lenses. I only have two of my lenses in here right now as I'm using one and there's one also being used away in the computer room right now because I was filming there the other day and I kind of left it there. But I have my big long lens, I have my fisheye lens and my DSLR fits right here, perfectly fit for the shape. My mic goes here, my other lens and all my batteries go here, like it's so beautiful. And to ensure that while you're walking, no one like randomly unzips it and knocks all your million dollar lenses out, they also have these like protective buckles right here so that it can't completely be like undone and you're safe to go. Now on the side here, there's also a tripod spot thing where you put your tripod in, it hooks up here to make sure that it's secure. So it literally like, oh, it's gonna save me so much hassle when traveling. Now in this front pocket here, you have this like little air pocket thing and that's where I put all my caps of things I'm currently using like my camera lens my DSLR lens and those kind of things and then you also have this like zipper for things where I just put my cleaning supplies and yeah and a ziplock bag because I don't trust it being by itself and you can also put pens and anything else that you want here. I have some extra memory cards. And the other great part about this backpack is on the back right here where it presses against your back, it has a secret compartment. So in it is this like rain coat thing for your bag. So if it's raining, you cover the bag and it doesn't look ugly. And it's basically just a little rain coat for the backpack. And also you can keep your wallet and phone back here so that like no one can steal it out of your back pocket while you're traveling. So I love that idea and concept and Oh, I'm so obsessed with this backpack. It's not even funny. I love you. And for my last accessory, as you can probably tell from my other videos, I've been obsessed with rings this month. I have this one because I love taking photos. I love videos. I love everything about cameras. That's why I have this one. And I also have this arrow one because I believe that when you pull an arrow back with a bow, the arrow will always shoot forward just like life. So if life is pulling you back like the arrow, it'll always shoot forward. And I have this one, which is an infinity symbol, and that one's self-explanatory. And I also have this anchor ring, and it just represents that I refuse to sink when people try to push me down. And lastly, I have this ring that my mom gave me. Basically, it kind of looks like the infinity symbol too, but it also kind of looks like the number 88, and that's my lucky and favorite number, so that's why I wear this one. And for my last accessory, I've been obsessed with the subscribe pillow that District Lines sent me, made by Throwboy. And shout out to District Lines because they are awesome and they sent me this for free and I love it so much. And oh, I don't know. It's just like the internet in real life and it just completes my bed, adds this little yellow touch to my room and <laughs> matches me right now. And I just love it a lot. It's so soft and handcrafted and beautiful. And a game that I've been obsessed with this month is Telestrations. I actually really recently just got it, but I love it so much and it's actually like my new favorite board game. And basically it's like that telephone game that we used to play back in elementary school where you'd like whisper something to the person beside you and it'd go around the circle and by the time it got back to you it'd be like a totally different word. So this is basically that, which makes this my new favorite board game. So basically it's four to eight players and everyone gets one of these notepads with a little whiteboard marker. And the first person would draw a card, say we got this one, and say you have to draw lasagna. <laughs> That's pretty tough. But fortunately for the first person, all they have to do is write lasagna in the secret word circle. I don't know if you can really see this. And then they'd pass it to the next person. The next person would have to try to draw lasagna here and then pass it to the next person again. But say that second person didn't draw really good and the third person thought it was like the ocean. 
So then they'd flip the page, write ocean, and pass it to the next person. The next person would then have to draw an ocean for the next person to guess, and you basically get it. So by the time you get from like the first one, which like lasagna, and say you ended up with, at the very end, say you ended up with the word of like a mall. Like it's totally different and I find this game really funny. I've only played it like five times so far because I just got it recently, but it's so fun and I cannot wait to play this in a future vlog. So you guys should subscribe to my vlog channel and the links down below because it might not make it onto this channel. And for the clothing this month, they basically all came from Zoomies because that's the only store I shop at. So this is the first wrap sweater I've ever owned and I've been obsessed with it all of January. It's literally so soft and comfy and warm and just so beautiful. I don't really own clothes with this design, so I really liked it. It was something new for me, even though it was the same store. And the brand is Billabong, if in case you wanted to find that in your store. And I've also noticed that I've bought a lot of red stuff this month. Don't know why, because I never really liked red clothes before, but now I'm starting to like it. See what I mean by red? <laughs> so I got this anchor shirt from District Lines. Again, they sent that to me, and they are wonderful people. And I love it a lot, because again, I don't own much red, and I also love the anchor concept. Like, that's one of my favorite symbols in life. So I love this a lot. And I don't think it really has a brand, it's just kind of District Lines. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, a little pinky red design on this shirt that I got, also from Zoomies, and it's an Empire brand, and I love it a lot. It has like the whole triangle hipster concept and I know how hip but I love it so much and it's just oh I'm starting to really like black t-shirts again which was like my old grade 7 8 phase but now it's more hip instead of the emo phase I went through not really emo but like the scene phase I should say and for the last shirt I got from zoomies it is also an empire tank top and it just looks like this I have a shirt that looks like this but I really like the tank tops with the zoomie style so I got that it has the huge open holes on the end that sounds gross but I love that and yeah no red weird and for my last favorite thing in January is this beanie from zoomies as well surprise surprise I don't know what brand it is because I don't own any beanies with this brand but I love the color and I actually got it last month but I'm so obsessed with it like I've been wearing it all month and oh I don't know I just love it and it's really soft and it's a longer beanie and that's what I like because a lot of my neff beanies are the shorter ones and I'm not digging those ones as much anymore so yeah I don't know what brand this is you can tell me if you know it, it kind of looks like a shutter which is pretty cool so yeah so that is all for today's video I hope you guys liked it and if you like these kind of videos give it a thumbs up and let me know so that I can make future February March April May favorite videos if I have a whole bunch of stuff and also be sure to check out my collab, vlog, and gaming channel in the links down below. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and comment, follow my social media links down below, and I'll see you guys in two or three days. Bye!